A fast-thinking Winter Haven police detective witnessed a carjacking as it was happening. She jumped in to stop it, arresting the criminal and possibly saving the victim. And all of that happened within seconds. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson is joining us now live at the Winter Haven Police Department. Sounds like a case of right place, right time, Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Keith. Right place, right time. Good police work. Today, we talked to the detective who made it happen and the victim she helped save. Thursday, just before 6 p.m. at this Winter Haven Walgreens, 75-year-old Larry McClure had just gone in for some milk. As he walked out to his car, trouble came out of nowhere. And this guy walked up to me and said, give me your keys. I, what? McClure was stunned, but didn't give up easily. And he said, give me your keys. I'll knock, I'll take you down, old man. They grabbed my hand. Fortunately for McClure, Winter Haven police detective Ida Royas was sitting in the parking lot in an unmarked patrol car. What first caught my attention was uh, seeing the victim, uh, you know, yank, uh, pull away as the, uh, the suspect was trying to get the keys from his hand. And I'm like, that doesn't look normal. What's going on there? Detective Royas moved in before the suspect and McClure knew what was going on. And I pulled away from him, put him in his hand, went back like that, and the detective was there. She was there that fast? Oh, yeah. Detective Royas immediately took 26-year-old Jose Martinez into custody. It, it could have turned out very bad. No, she may have saved Mr. McClure's life. Although she is fairly modest about it, her police chief believes it takes more than luck for an officer to be in the right place at the right time. He believes it also takes some good police work. I think that, sh that Ida did an outstanding job. Um, she, uh, it just goes to show you the quality of the uh, officers that we have here. Yeah, Detective Royas tells me that Jose Martinez told her that he hadn't slept and that he needed shelter, and so he decided to steal that car. Chief Bird points out that uh, Mr. Martinez now has shelter in the jail. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> Certainly sounds like it. Uh, now, this detective, though, was she actually patrolling out there for any reason, or just happened to be driving by at the time? She was following up on a previous call, just happened to be sitting in an unmarked patrol car, and was very observant, very fortunate. Did the job, and... Uh... Someone's protected as well, and someone's behind jail. Who should be? Jeff Patterson, live in Winter Haven. Thank you.